Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be going over the pillage feature in Bannerlord. Uh, it came out at 1.5.8. If you guys missed my video talking about 1.5.8 and reviewing it, the link will be down below in the description. But today we will be uh, pretty much sieging a settlement and then choosing the three pillage options that we did get with that patch. I'm going to first start off by reading all the options, and then we will actually try them out. We're going to reload the save a couple times and uh, see what each one does, right? So let's just read the um, patch notes description. Alrighty, so added pillaging. Players and AI can now choose to devastate, pillage, or show mercy to settlements that have been successfully sieged. Devastate and pillage can damage the prosperity and projects of a settlement, as well as diminish the power of notables in town. Naturally, the previous settlement owner won't be too happy about the destruction of their former home. However, the participants of the siege will see their um, coffers and party morale rise. Still, lords and ladies may or may not approve the actions depending on their traits. Then the other option, show mercy, allows the winners to take over the settlement without causing too much harm to it and its inhabitants. While this is expected for settlements of one own faction culture, showing mercy to foreign settlements will cause unrest among the troops just as the other choices, some nobles will approve or disapprove of the action. Alrighty, so what this means pretty much is uh, the devastate and pillage option is good to do uh, to settlements that are of a different culture than you are. And to show mercy is good to do of um, factions that are the same culture or settlements that are the same culture as your faction. But it might always be good to do sh show mercy as well. But we will find out in these tests exactly what the differences are. So I got a little army, we got a, um, the settlement is not the same culture as us, almost 100% not the same culture as us, because I'm pretty sure I picked Kazates. But let's uh, besiege the town, we're just going to, um, because we have so much more forces, we're just going to uh, send our troops, and we're going to see exactly what these options do, and uh, what are the, you know, things that happen after the action is done, or the effects, right? Alrighty, let's send troops. Yep, yep, yep. Victory. There you go. Oh my goodness, by a slim margin, huh? Alright. You are in 61% of the loot. That's a new thing they put in there, actually, too. Very cool. Okay. Alright, we got our prisoners. Don't really care about that. We're just here to see what happens. We have a lot of loot. The loot change, how much we get and stuff. Oh, this looks regular. Okay. Here it is. So here are the choices. So has fallen to your troops. You must station a garrison here to defend it against enemies or who may try to recapture it. All right. So here we have the options and we also have what they will do. So we're going to read one of the options, do that option, see what the consequences are, and then we're going to reload the save and do the next one, right? Alrighty, so uh, Devastate. To Devastate, uh, that will cost 22 influence, and we will convince two merciful leaders of this action. Prosperity loss, we will lose 9 prosperity in uh, the settlement. Total building levels reduced, 0. Okay. Loyalty will go down by 30. Notable powers will be halved. Relationship with settlement owner, which is uh, Menteus, that'll be uh, negative 30. And, and then the party morale change will be 20. Army gold gain will be uh, 139. Party gold gain will be 85. Interesting. So if I would have uh, actually done this like I was supposed to and uh, had a lot more army, I would have got this number would have been way bigger. But since I literally only have like what? 64 troops left. That's why that number is so low. Okay, let's do it Okay, so it's decreased All right, all that happened and some people are not happy obviously, right? Okay And we get to keep it like always and now we're in here we Wait some time And it's the same as before Interesting. Okay. So now I'm going to reload and uh, see you there. 
Alrighty, now we are back, and let's try the middle option. What happened here? We got some wars happen, huh? Okay, but we do not care about that. Let's besiege the town. And uh, we're gonna send troops again, obviously. Don't wanna waste anybody's time. Just wanna, you know, get the info. Alrighty, now let's send troops. Boom. We got 88 now. Okay, there it is. Okay. Got all that. Floating head. There it is. So the middle option. So the middle option looks like it will never cost influence, right? Okay. So the middle option is pillage. Uh, so this will lose seven prosperity. Okay, so a little bit less than devastate. Uh, total building levels reduce zero. I think this place doesn't have that much upgrades. Um, maybe that's why. I don't know. Or maybe that's kind of bug right now. I have no clue. Uh, loyalty is minus fifteen instead of minus thirty, so kind of half of that. Notable powers again only cut by twenty five percent, which is half of the fifty percent from devastate. Um, we lose fifteen percent. Okay, so it's literally just like Devastate, but you don't pay any influence, and everything else is halved. Like, all the, like, the morale changes 10 instead of 20. Um, the relationship, uh, the negative relationship is minus 15 instead of minus 30. Okay, so it's like a light Devastate, obviously a pillage. I think this is supposed to uh, actually show you, not show you, I think this is actually supposed to be what we used to always do regardless right every time it took over a settlement but not really because obviously some of these values did not exist before but okay let's pillage we lose uh some relations we only lose relationships with him devastate we lost relationships with a lot of other lords and stuff um which makes sense because this pillage thing didn't cost much influence therefore it was kind of like the normal thing to do right and uh we wait some time and it's just the same as before okay when this first came out i, I thought that um like the devastate option was not going to let us keep the actual town that it was kind of more like to humiliate the enemy and stuff right but um i might be mistaken let me just manage town real quick no these have all level three so i'm wondering why the devastate didn't actually give us any levels down to any of these uh, projects. Interesting. Maybe it's because if you have a. Maybe it's based on how big your army is after the siege. Interesting. Um, we'll do one more test at the end where I actually do the siege how we're supposed to and uh, see if the numbers increase, right? But I will see you guys. Alrighty, well, now let's do the third option and see what we get. Let's besiege that. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, send those troops. There we go, stuck with 85. And let's see what we will do. Same thing, keep it going. Yep, yep. Okay, so show mercy costs the most out of all of them. And we need to convince three non-merciful leaders of this action. We will lose three prosperity and our para uh, party morale will go down by 15. So you don't gain the gold that you would gain from pillage and devastate. Um, you don't lose any uh, relationship with the settlement owner. Uh, you pretty much keep the loyalty and the nobles still are going to do great. And just the only thing is some prosperity will be lost and some party morale. So let's do that. If your party morale is already over 100, you're still good, you know. But, okay, and obviously they're still going to disagree with you. So either if you devastate or if you show mercy, you're going to have multiple lords disagree with you. So pillage is like kind of like the safe safest option, I guess. But, um which is kind of like the normal option we used to get before. 
without actually having the option, but just, you know, that's what usually would happen. But now you do have the option and it's the same as before. Alrighty, so now um, the next one that I do want to do, let me pause this real quick. I'm actually gonna go play it. I'm gonna play it off. Um, I'm not gonna, I'll probably fast forward it too, why not? We'll play it and uh, we're gonna see if, oh, there's some banners all over the place. But we're going to see if the number of people that are left at the end actually influences how much gold and stuff we can gain. So I will see you in that one. Alrighty, so we won. They said we only earned 15% of the loot, which is weird. So we got a lot more people left. I felt like we should have got more than that, but okay. Let's see what the options give us since we have more people now. We have more than 400 people too. We have about 1,400 people. That's weird. So we technically got less, we got less of everything just not by sending troops. That's very weird. And we got less loot. We literally got less everything because we didn't send troops and let all our troops die. Why is that? Why is that how that works? Yeah, the gold goes up by not by a lot. Yeah, look, hey, developers, if you're watching, I know you guys watch some videos. The uh, how much gold you gain from choosing these options is way too low, and the loot is just, uh, yeah, those need to get boosted ASAP as soon as possible. How much uh, gold you get because that looks kind of wrong, but it does increase a little bit because I have more people. But when I had 80 people, and right now when I have 1400 people, I saw maybe like I don't know, a 20% increase, which is not, you know, the biggest thing in the world. We choose that. Yeah, same thing as before. Interesting, though, but since we did have more people now, um, the town projects did, uh, what do you call it? Okay, and we destroyed some uh, daily stuff as well. Interesting. Okay, so if you have a lot more people left after, then you have a bigger chance to destroy more interesting okay now since i'm the owner for a little bit yeah whatever i don't care <clears throat> so let's see how those destroyed projects actually look okay whatever now they said this was destroyed but it's still here what as you can see this has gone down this has all we've gone down all the way to one and this has gone down as well. Okay, so if you have more people, you have a bigger chance to actually do some damage here. That's cool. They said this was destroyed, but it's not it's still here. So I don't know how that works. But uh, yeah, there you are. Oh, I actually never noticed this before either. Interesting. Oh, that's a very cool little thing. Cool. Alrighty, that's going to do it for me. Interesting new feature. I like it. Let me know what you guys think about it, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe.